Hashem is entitled the Gedolim and Har Habayit. How can those few precious people, in my opinion, precious, not everyone agrees, how could those few people go up to Har Habayit against the Gedolim? So in the first year we mentioned, the previous year we mentioned, what do you mean the Gedolim? Well, Levi, we should have the Gedolim. All the Gedolim around the world agree. They all sit together on issues and they agree on this issue, that psak, that hashkava, that approach, that das Torah. Halavai. I wish we had such a thing. We don't have it. We're nowhere close to that. Barring some miracle. So we the gedolim. There's so many dolim and there's so many different issues and opinions and chiluke de or. So to me, that's not a question. And I mentioned the previous year when you see before the elections, the Gedolim say, the, the Das Torah says to vote for this group or that group or Gimel or, well, what does that mean, the Gedolim say? All the Gedolim agree? If you mean to say that your Gedolim are the Gedolim, and that's why you could say, the Gedolim say to vote for this group, well, I, I respectfully and vehemently disagree that one group thinks they have a monopoly on the Gedolim. So, I don't think that's appropriate. Okay, but fine. We avoid the question of the Gedolim because there's so many groups here. But, let's call a spade a spade. Majority of Gedolim are against going to Harabayim. Majority are against it. The Rabbanut, every other week or month, this comes out with another proclamation against Harabayim, against Harabayim. Right on the wall as you enter. Rabbanut, can't go up to Harabayim. Rabbanut Yushalayim, a few weeks ago, joined the fray also, can't go up to Harabayim. So the majority, Hasidish world, Yeshivish world, the Tatilim world, Sephardic world, against going. So we have to change the question, not how did the Olim Tarabai go against the Gedolim? How did they go against the majority, rove of the Gedolim? That's a good question. It's a very good question. A wonderful source on this topic is found in Yehavadap or Revavad Yosef Zeich HaTzadik Levracha at the end of Chelek He, after the last Tshuva in the Chelek on page Sa Shin He, he discusses this Shulchan Aruch. How did the Shulchan Aruch paskin, like the Rambam Riff and Rush, against the majority rove of the Rishonim? Great question. And his discussion is a beautiful one. It's a good day to read it, proper to read it. And he says there, you don't have rove. What does that mean? Rambam Riff Rush on one topic, let's say, hold differently than Tosfos, Mordechai, Marum, Rittenberg, etc. It's against the rove, against the majority. He says, no, halakhically it's not rove. Why? Rove means when everyone is together, hearing each other out, arguing each other. You give your reason. He gives his reason. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. And then, out of the 50 rabbis that are there, the 23 rabbis, the 70 rabbis, that whatever the case is, whether it's a formal bait in or not, they argue it out. And then, after arguing out, they come to a conclusion, and 40 say this way, 30 say that way. Oh, wow, now we have rove. But when you have a rabbi in this town, a rabbi in that town, a rabbi in that town, and there's no, ah, that they're not sitting together arguing and hashing it out, we don't have the principle of rove. So that's an amazing source right there to read in Havadat, the fifth volume, page Shin Hei. He expands upon that. Rav Zalman Achim ben Goldberg also has an article on Darkei Hapsak. It's also worthwhile reading that. And other articles on this topic of Psak Halacha, how it works. But the summary is that Rove is when everyone is together. Then, only then, is someone bound. And that's it. There's a Rove. Till then, we don't have Rove. So over here, we have scattered rabbis. If you put a list of all the rabbis together, you're going to have a majority saying, do not go. But you're not technically bound by Rove, and therefore rabbis have an option of going through the sugya and looking at it and see, you know, I see Gedolim this way, I see some Gedolim this way, I see Rav Dovli Yor, and Rav Tendler, and Rav Rabinovich, and they hold their way, which is not like the majority in terms of numbers. But once you're not technically bound by Rove, then there is halachic leeway over here, and that's why there are those who go up and hold it. It's a great, great mitzvah. Do not feel that they're in any way violating Rome. On the contrary, they, myself included, feel that we're doing a great mitzvah. Shalom.